lesson you will learn how to use ImageMeter Pro for the determination of the number of spots with a certain color. We first import the image which we want to analyze. This image has a lighter background than the spots which we are interested in. Therefore, we first need to invert the colors of the image. We therefore press the Invert Color button. Let's change the line color to green and set the color setting button. We check the check RGB box and then determine the color of a representative spot which we want to analyze. The highest color value is over 200 and the average color including the background is over 180. As you can see the background is not completely black. So we preset the RGB to 175, 175, 175 in our first trial and see what we get. These values are higher than the lowest color values of that spot. Next we check the count spot checkbox and then create a rectangle around the spot trying to get the whole spot area. We then press the Start Spot Count button and the result is shown in the Results section. For the Area Ratio we get a value of 21.2 and for the RGB Value Ratio a value of 21.37. This value is higher and it means the spot density is heterogeneous. All positive spots are now green. There are altogether 21 green spots which is close to what we have actually measured. Let's repeat this for a little bit lighter spot, which we found was part of the 21 spots which we identified in our first analysis. We check the RGB value, which for the average is over 220. I already preset the RGB minimum values here, we check count spots and press the count spots button. However, we forgot to select the spot first. In that moment, an alert box will remind us. Now we can start counting. Both area and RGB are very close to around 7. When we see which spots fit our criteria, we get a number of 7. It is important to select the same spot for counting, which we also selected for determining the RGB. Now let's see if we can separate the set of darker spots from the lighter spots. We repeat the whole procedure as before, checking and presetting the RGB value. However, we know that the lighter spots have RGB values equal or higher then 220. So now we make use of the upper limit, which we set to 40. This makes sure that only RGB colors between 170 and 210, A, G and B will be searched. We get values of around 10.5 and when we check the threshold color, we count a total number of 10, which is close to our measurement. If we want to know spots or areas of a precise RGB value, we check the exact color checkbox. Let's select one of the spots. The precise RGB value of that spot is 111, 116, 130. So we preset this value. 
The reason why we usually do not select exact color is because spot colors are heterogeneous. And so we work with a range. In this image, each spot is rather homogeneous. We count the spots and we obtain a value of three spots, which is confirmed by the threshold image option. In case we select the wrong spot as a reference spot for counting, then we use to determine the RGB value. We can see that because the raw and spot values are zero. If now we press the count spots button, we will get an error message. This means that the color range does not meet the preset color range. Now I will show you how to save the data. First we create a folder named image meter on the desktop. If by mistake we press this button again and try to create the folder again, there will be an alert message warning you. We first save the modified image as a reference. We save it in the image meter folder. We name it here spot.4.png and we press the save button. Now we press the text save as button. And we again select the image meter folder. You can see that the data will be saved as a Microsoft Excel file. If you don't like that, you can save it in a different file format, for example a txt text file. We again give the file a name. And now the image meter folder contains two saved files. We can see our image. And we can see the text data in Excel. The text data can also be opened in other text editors. And this concludes this lesson.